Hi! Today we're going to learn a little bit more about the Ravinia skirt and specifically how to sew the gathered pocket. It's easier than you might think, but it's the trickiest spot on the pattern. The Ravinia skirt has been recently updated to include sizes extra small to 5X and it's featured right now. So if you haven't got it yet, it's perfect for summer and really it's perfect for any time of the year. I like to make mine in double brush poly or single brush poly, but there's all kinds of fabrics that you could use and it would work great for it. So let me take a second and show you how to do the gathered pocket on the Ravinia skirt. One tip that you're gonna want to take advantage of is when you are starting your gathering stitches for the Ravinia skirt pocket gathering, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have long tails on especially your bobbin thread. So go ahead and pull those out before you start to sew the gathering. Another note as you sew those gathering stitches is you're gonna sew from one marking until the next as noted on the pattern piece. But when you are done, make sure that you don't have the back stitching feature engaged on your machine and pull it out a little bit from the machine and give it these nice long threads to work. When you're sewing these gathering stitches, you're going to be using your longest possible stitch without back stitching at the front or the um, back here. And you are taking those long strings in the back that you've left, um, especially on the bobbin side, and you're pulling them to make the gathered part. So you can see that it's going to pull them. So you're going to line them up and pull these long strings until you get gathers that are similar to this. And you're gonna straighten them up. And then what we're gonna do is take this piece and place it on top of your pocket piece. The next thing to do is to take your pocket piece which is the one, the smaller one that has the curved line on it. And you're gonna place that wrong sides together up against your sewn gathered piece from the front of your skirt. And you're gonna line that all up and pin it. Then we're gonna sew this part together, wrong sides together, and we're gonna apply the binding to it. Now really make sure that you have your gathers really nice and even inside of here. And also be sure and double check your pattern piece is the left hand or the right hand pocket side and not mixed up because that can be really confusing. Another note is that as you sew, you wanna be sure that you sew with the gathers up so you can kind of keep track of them and that none of these little pieces get pushed over um, behind the needle and they all stay straight and even. The next thing to do to apply the binding, um, you'll take that rectangle that you cut for the binding and you're going to apply it right sides together over the top of the gathered line of the pocket that you've sewn already. And as you are applying this, what I like to do is to pin it at the beginning of it and at the end because this rectangle piece is a little bit smaller than the line that you're attaching it to and then I'll work it out to be stretched evenly but just slightly over the entire length of the pocket. Next we're going to sew this binding piece that you put over the gathers right sides together. We're going to straight stitch that onto the line of the pocket making sure that everything is still nice and even. And then we're gonna remove those basting stitches because we're not gonna need them anymore. So now what we're left with here is that binding piece attached right sides together to the pocket piece with the gathered pieces on the inside. And then behind all of that, of course, is the other pocket piece, like the place where your hand would hit if you put your hand in the pocket. So we're gonna be folding this binding piece over that seam allowance. And we're going to use a cover stitch or you can use your sewing machine with a twin needle. Um, you can straight stitch this as well, but I do like 
the more professional result of a um, cover stitch or a twin needle. So we'll put that down the line of this pocket right here. And then once that's done, we're gonna trim the excess fabric that's back here. So here is my pocket piece. I have cover stitched the binding piece. And this is what it looks like on the back. Um, I am gonna need to go through here and trim this edge a little bit. That's gonna be on the side that you won't see. And I'm pretty happy with um, my gathers and my cover stitch um, is pretty even. So I'll show you what the final version looks like now. And I hope that you don't let the pockets intimidate you on the Ravinia because they are actually pretty easy and very rewarding when it's all put together. And who doesn't love pockets? So here's my finished Ravinia skirt in my pocket. So the gathers came out really nicely. Um, what I like to pair this skirt with is a Summer Basics tank and I think I'll be having a video that uploads soon about how I batch sewed a whole bunch of these. So look for that soon. Um, I'll do like a little bit of a close up so you can really see how the pocket lays. I love anything with a pocket. So this is the style is perfect for me. Um, I like to just tuck in my shirt a little bit and then do it, have it do a blouse over. So the Ravinia skirt style, um, waist style that I chose for this piece was the um, yoga waistband, which is just one piece. It is so easy to put together. Um, the other options um, are the contoured waist, which is four pieces and a piece of elastic, and it just depends on what style you want.